Respect your feelings to your father. And I will not have your mother feeling guilty because she's in love again. Whether you like it or not, we'll live together and be married as soon as my divorce is through. As I see it, you have two options. I do accept it, or you cut out completely. It's up to you. More tea, though? Uh, no, fine, thanks. Do you want to swap, Dad? Sure. Nothing there. No, lots of experience, wanted, career sort of stuff. Maybe good casual stuff, then. What have you got on today, love? I don't know, I might go down the park with Nelson and the blokes. Bowl a few overs. Watching it on TV is enough for me. Slacker. <laughs> we still haven't got round to having our family match. Getting everyone together is a problem. Well, wait till Lynn gets back. We'll do it then. Meet your grand, that'll be there. No, it's okay. You can tell everyone how to play. Probably will, too. <laughs> Look at this one. Youth wanted. General duties, casual, top rates, lumberyard. You see that? Yeah, it's, it's not really the sort of thing I'm looking for. Not scared of a bit of hard work, eh? <laughs> it's a two-double-one number, love. Where's that? No, two-double-one. Out Garden Vale way, I think. Well, it's pretty hard to get there from here without a car. It's probably gone now, anyway. You never know. Give him a call. Well, it's work, isn't it? You're not going to get a job by sitting around your back, though. Keep a cow for a bit of milk. Live off the land. Thought you, uh, might like to try some of this. Fresh from the cow, eh? No, goat's milk. Goat's milk? Oh, no, no, I don't think I'd like that. They say it's better for you than cows. Easier to digest. The health food shops are full of it. Well, if it's so good, why don't they bottle it like they do cow's milk? We've always had a milking goat. It's never killed any of us. Go on, it's delicious. Well, there's just the one. You have it. I'll get stuck into the cheese. Mm. Nice, isn't it? My word. Mm. It's goat's cheese. Good thing I took that extra money. Yeah, well, this was nine dollars alone. Still, I want everything to be nice for Mother tonight. Yeah, I wish I hadn't asked her. I want you to see how she's changed. Now, promise me you'll give her a go. Yeah, but she better not start, though. Uh-oh. Okay, she just knocked over that stack of toys. She's already started to pick them up. Got very insulted when I tried to help. Oh, she's a good little thing. Yeah. I thought we'd have heard from Kerry by now. I'm going to be on edge all weekend. I might give her a call later on. Oh, come on, you can't push it. Well, Fiona's told us she's got the letter. You just have to be patient, okay? Yeah. Easier said than done. Oh, thank heaven for a bit of peace and quiet for what? <laughs> He's been in one of his crying moods. That's one good thing Doug can do for him. Pacify him. <laughs> when does he get back? No, Doug. Oh, in a couple of days. Time to start laying low again. Oh, he's not that bad. A bit crusty. <laughs> Reminds me of some people back home. Make one mistake and they don't want to know you. Hey. Have you done anything about that letter to your parents yet? I started it a couple of times. Just couldn't think of what to write. Oh, what am I going to do with you? Putting off Rob's letter? Your parents? You know, life's a lot less complicated if you get the big things out of the way. But, mm, I'm going to put the little fella down. Oh, uh, look, the phone's right over there. Why don't you call your parents? My shout. What's the use? They don't care about me. For all you know, they could be worried sick. I'm not trying to push it, but uh, just whenever you want to. Phone's right there. Come on. Uh -huh. That's great, love. Congratulations. Tell that I've had three big blokes to it. Just have to be careful they don't do me on the way home. I'd better go anyway. Bye. All right, then. See you tonight. Bye. Well, Kevin's got himself a job. Doing a couple of hours now, and then he starts properly on Monday. Uh, that's good. 
Well, here you go. Thanks. I'm glad he stirred himself a bit. Probably a shock to the system, though. What? Well, that sort of work. Oh, yeah. You were the one that was so keen about it this morning. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that business with John, I started thinking about it again. You're building it up to be more than it is. Yeah, I knew it'd be like this. As soon as he met Martin Healy, he wouldn't give it up. Nothing's changed, except in your head. Well, John's going to be seeing a lot more of him. Stands to reason. David Palmer, you are coming to the zoo with us. No arguments. And you're going to forget all about that. Oh, come on. I don't want to go and see a whole lot of animals stuck in a cage. Well, it's better than moping around here. I'll, uh... I'll plant you near the hyenas, and when they get going, you can join in. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a one-person pep rally with you and Kevin around. If I'm not perking him up, it's you. Well, we're lucky we got you, then. Yes, and don't you forget it. Mm, what did I tell you? Oh, it took you long enough to get around to it. <laughs> I can't get over it. Mum was crying. I think we all were. <laughs> and I thought you said they didn't care. They didn't know if I was dead or what. Everyone was talking at once. They were so pleased to hear from me. Mum said they want me to come home. And I think she really means it. That's wonderful, love. It's me. Hi. Hi. David behaved himself? Oh, he was a little terror earlier on, but he's fast asleep now. Good. Oh, what a morning. I'm exhausted. But he said it went really well, though. I kept getting a stitch. He made me laugh so much. Uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, we worked hard, too. Drew's got some really way ahead ideas. But when I saw yesterday's stuff, oh, I think he's just brilliant. <laughs> you want something to eat? Oh, no, thanks. I think I'll flake for a couple of hours. Uh -huh. I'm having dinner on a boat, would you believe, cruising around the harbour. Oh, I don't think I've ever had so much fun in my life. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. As long as you remember there is a real world down here. Oh, oh. Drew says a lot of people can't handle the pace, but I think it's great. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Not too much noise. I've only just got the little fellow off to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Half a luck. I wouldn't mind being paid to enjoy myself. Yeah. Makes all the difference, sir. Oh, she's... She's a sensible girl. She'll be all right. I can't get the feel of it today. Is it difficult? I mean, how do you come up with something better than someone's holiday snaps? I don't know. You just do. And sometimes you don't. It's a cutthroat business. If you don't come up with the goods, you're not the golden-haired kid for long. Not that I've ever had that trouble. I want to say. I don't think there's any point in discussing it, Wendy. Firstly, I want to say I'm sorry for being so touchy. I know it's not my business what you do with your life. I didn't mean to interfere or to judge you or anything. It's all right. No, I mean it. I haven't got over Daddy's death yet. And it was a shock that you... I know I haven't been here and that you've had to cope. Mother, I'm glad to see you happy again. Getting married is fine. I'm sure Daddy would have been all for it. But moving in with Gordon, couldn't you wait? Just out of respect, couldn't you wait till after Gordon's divorce? Oh, I'm sorry to interfere. I know you think I'm a spoiled brat. Maybe I am, but it worries me. That's all. I left them to talk it over. Mind if I wait alone? I'll go for a ride. Hey. Be artistic. I call it emotional blackmail. I think you're being too hard on her. I learned something from all those years with Patricia. 
She's not manipulating. That's the first time I've ever seen her like that. I'm sick of her trying to make us feel guilty. I laid it on the line to her this morning, and she's banging on a few crocodile tears to get her own way. If I thought she was doing that, I would turn her backside. I'm sorry, darling, but this is between Wendy and me. She is, after all, my daughter. It's a pity. She only acts like it when she wants something. I don't think you realize what it means, her appealing to me like that. I've never been close to her. I'd given up trying. Oh, I admit she's been a charmer when she wants something. Clothes, money, a trip to America. But this is the first time, Gordon, the first time that she's ever been like that. And if I don't give a little... I want to get through to her. I do feel for her, and I can see how much she cared for Roland. It makes me feel lousy, but it is our lives. She said that herself. We both know we'll be doing nothing wrong. Well, I still think she has a point. It's not like you. You're usually so... so clear-headed. Doesn't mean I haven't any feelings. I'm sorry, it's just that... I don't want anything to spoil things for us. I'm being selfish, I suppose. Oh. Well, it's nice to know Mr. Perfect has a few faults. Okay. I'll go along with it. But only because it's what you want. We'll wait. Wait a while. Thank you. I think I'd better get back to Gordon. It might be an idea if Paul and I head back soon. Gordon might think I'm rubbing his nose in it. Oh, he's not like that. You'd better not risk it. Well, whatever you think. Bath. She was all ready to go, and then she got out the back into the sand pit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like kidding of her, eh? She's so excited, I think she's going to run you off your feet. Well, sure you can't make it? Oh, well, I'd love to, but I want to have everything ready when Mother comes. She's having dinner with us tonight. Oh, well, that's your business, love. Susie around? No, she's asleep. It's her first day back at work tonight, and she wants to be fresh for it. Mm, hard to get back to shift work after a break. Well, her trouble was she was out late last night. You never guess who with. Wayne. What's she seeing him for? I don't know. I suppose she's the only person who's still talking to him. That's well, not serious, is it? No, I... Well, serious is always a sucker for a lost cause. Oh, well, I've got some good news. Kevin's got a job. Oh, great. What doing? He's working at a timber yard in Glen Hartley, just to fill in until something better comes up. Oh, well, that's good. Make him feel better about him working, too. Mmm, it's a load of all our minds. Anyone home? It's great to hear you. I tried to ring earlier, but no one was home. Yeah? Guess what happened? I tell you what, I have never had so much fun. I'm meeting the weirdest people, but they all know so much about what they're doing. And I've been going to some great places. It sounds great. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> what about you? Been doing anything exciting? Oh, well, not exactly. I didn't get a job. Guess what I'm doing tonight? Going on a harbour cruise, food and all. Drew's been so good to me. Oh, great. Of course, I am missing you. Yeah, I miss you too. Guess what we shot yesterday morning? Mrs. Armstrong's. Oh, I told you about that, didn't I? <laughs> well, so much has been happening, I just can't keep up. Well, sorry, I interrupted you before. You're going to tell me what you've been doing. No, it's nothing important. I'll tell you when you get home. Oh, I wish we could stay here. You, you'd like it. I'll just go and have a shower. I smell the horses. Ugh. Take the weight off my feet. <laughs> Funny being here as a guest. I suppose it must be. You 
You'll be on your way back to Brisbane soon, will you, after this? There's no hurry. I might spend some more time with the family. David's let things go around the house a bit. He needs a few odd jobs done. They've asked me to stay on, as a matter of fact. Oh, that's nice of them. Yeah, it was. Certainly been quiet up home since the wife passed on. A few of my old mates moved up there when they retired. None of them left. You must miss your wife. Too right. She was one in a million. You two would have got on like a house on fire. Mm. It's funny. You make a whole load of plans and then... It takes a while to get over it. Oh, well, life goes on. I mean, who'd have thought I'd start eating goat's cheese at my age? <laughs> okay, great. Bye. Mm -hmm. How was he? Oh, fine. Thanks for the phone. I better go and have a shower before Davey wakes up. Oh. <laughs> I bother you again? It's no bother. You know that. Hey! What happened to the smile? I got this out to answer it. The letter from Rob's solicitor. I've decided I will go home. And you want to take Domini? Well, yeah. I don't have to give her up now. If I hadn't been so stupid bringing her to Sydney, none of this would have happened. But it has, my darling. You told Rob he could adopt her. Now, all that's left to do is for you to send that letter off. But, well, it, it's different now. With Mum and Dad's help, you can't expect me to stick to have something Have you got that... any idea how much you're going to hurt him? Sorry, but I gave her up when I wasn't thinking straight. Now I've got a chance to give her a home with me. Well, I'm going to take it, Fiona. And Rob's just going to have to give it back, whether he likes it or not. But if she takes her back, we won't see Domini anymore. We won't hear her little voice or... Um, what does she sound like? She may have dropped something heavy today, but she never said a word. Maybe she'll be like Tracy Barlow and come in from her room in five years' time after listening to some tapes. Wendy came up with a good write-in idea today. What does Barbara see in Gordon Hamilton? Answers on a postcard. More to the point, what on earth would Paul see in a selfish, nasty little rich kid like Wendy? Andrew Sainsbury from the News Group has some observations from the last few eppies, although they're all the kind of things that make us love it so much, he adds, quite so. Firstly, when Angela and Susan arrived back to the find the front door, open and Patricia missing last week, they rushed into the sitting room and came in the right-hand door. Yet when Martin Healy called, Patricia went out of the left-hand door to let him in. Talking of doors, did anyone else notice Fiona's wall wobble when she shut the door rather heavily on Friday? It certainly shuddered. And finally, in the scenes when Paul was out boating in his skimpy swimwear, did anyone else notice the Channel 7 yacht in the background of almost every shot?